Vice President. I am delivering this statement on behalf of the European Union of Jewish Students, the World Jewish Congress, and the International Association of Jewish Lawyers and Jurists. Madam Vice President, it seems incumbent to point out that despite the many egregious abuses of human rights taking place on a daily basis all around the world, this Council continues to target a single country exclusively under the infamous Item 7, not focusing on a particular topic nor a conflict, but the Jewish state alone. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Israel supported the Palestinians with testing kits, healthcare materials and trainings for their medical personnel. We regret, however, that such positive collaborations have not been noted in the report. Despite the fact that Israel has provided such, such extensive support, terror attacks, which have gone largely unmentioned in the report, have continued and baited, resulting in injuries and even in death. The lack of any recommendations regarding those violations in the report only further proves the discriminatory nature of the report, this mandate and this item. We therefore urge this Council to consider a change of course, as the obsessive focus on Israel undermines its credibility and legitimacy as a body dedicated to defending human rights around the world in an equal and impartial manner. It is high time to abolish the one-sided and biased Item 7. And thank you very much.